they call it the heart problem of consciousness because they don't they can't figure out still how does how does that awareness come into play here mm-hmm. because if you just think biologically psychologically uh, real awareness real that kind of awareness that we have about ourselves in the world it's impossible mm-hmm. it's an impossibility so the east says there's one more one more step you need to back up one more step we're not our body we're not our mind we're not the ego we're not the, the thoughts that we think and this is very strange for us in the west because we're so conditioned to think that I, that ego, that's me. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that's thinking and making decisions and then acting upon those decisions. So if that's not me, who, you know, what else is there? And that's a very scary uh, concept, right? We were frightened of that uh, concept of who am I? You know, um, if I'm not all the like it's there's a comfort in knowing that continuity of the mm. identity of the persona of i'm you know deborah burnt from forts new jersey and i did this and i went to this college and i did these things i have these friends uh people know me i'm i have a husband you know all those things that we accumulate in our life and it's like well if i'm not really any of those things it's it's kind of a scary proposition then we think ask ourselves well what are we working for like why why even bother right I, I think that when we we're going deeper into this true self i think a lot of people mistake spiritual work as abandoning the physical and and mm. renouncing the world um but we're not really a- canceling out the world we're saying this is just a part of our our experience this is a part of us so it's not that we aren't we're not 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 the ego but we're not just the ego there there's a it, it, the ego's kind of a concept that's actually we have an experience of it so we can't deny that it's there's an ego there but it's not as real as we think it is